Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A heartbreaking update about a six-year-old boy hit by a car in Redford Township. Police tell us Chase Young has died from his injuries. The crash happened the night of August 10th near Vassar and Brady. Police are still looking for the driver. Investigators say a blue 2012 Chevy Impala was ditched right after the crash. The White House is taking aim at monkeypox. The Biden administration is launching a pilot program to make vaccines and educational resources more accessible. We're told 1.8 million vaccines are expected to be distributed soon. The announcement comes as Michigan reports 108 cases of the virus. More than 30 of those cases are in the city of Detroit. The CDC says cases nationwide have surpassed 13,000. A major investment announced today could offer a solution to the current nursing shortage. Oakland University is partnering with Beaumont Health Spectrum Health System to increase the number of nurses graduating from OU. The health system will invest $20 million over the next five years for the BHSH Beaumont Health Nurse Scholar Program. Those who receive student grants will be put on a path to work at the health system for at least two years after graduating. Here now is Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with a check of your seven first alert forecast. A shower, isolated, or a thunderstorm rain itself out by about 9 o'clock or so this evening. It dries out overnight, and tomorrow is a dry day, 86. It's still 86 on Saturday, but after a dry morning, the rain chances do start to pick up after about 2 or 3 o'clock. Include a thunder uh, possibility in there as well, especially after 4 or 5. It looks like Saturday evening and Sunday will be the wettest time of the weekend here. Uh, but again, you got to watch if you're going to be out cruising on Saturday. We're still going to do our thing. Uh, I'd love to come out and have you love to have you come out and see us. I uh, wouldn't change your plans just yet. Closer to 80 as we get into Sunday and Monday because the rain chances there and then it warms up a little bit. Temperatures just a bit above average next week.